Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I wanna show you how to create amazing presentations or slideshows using an app called Toom. This app is currently free, it does amazing work, and it's got a few things that make it better, in my opinion, than uh, PowerPoint. Let me tell you one. One, it integrates in GPT-4. That's right, it has, a, it has access to chat GPT-4 or just GPT-4, and it uses it to populate the presentation, and I'll show you how it does it in a second. It also has access to Dolly 2 and soon to be Dolly 3, which is an AI image or an AI art generator, and it has unlimited access to that as well. And more importantly, it's easy to use. You, have to, you can have literally zero technical skill, and you can create amazing presentations if you're a teacher, if you're doing a report, or you're teaching a class, whatever it is you're doing, I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step, walking you through it the whole way. Here we go. So the first step, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the presentation that I made. I want you to keep in mind I made this presentation in about three minutes, and I had no technical skills required. So here we go. We've got a we've got Macbeth full summary, a play summary. Here's a few things that it talks about. Here's an image of the the witches doing the witches thing. Here is a the prophecy I've integrated in. A video from YouTube. So here's the tragedy of Macbeth by the Coen brothers. I've got a snippet of that cut into the presentation. I've got a top, I've got an image at the top of the uh, of this page here that I built using Dolly 3 and the image generator. And here we go, another image through Dolly 3, with Macbeth's downfall, etc., etc. Let's do this step by step. Follow along with me if you'd like. First step, tomb.app. That's all you gotta do. I'll put a link in the description below. You need to have an account. If you don't have an account, it's free to sign up and you get 500 credits to start with. So the average presentation for me takes about 30 credits, maybe 40 credits. So you get at least 12 free presentations and a unlimited amount of, of image generation and all that stuff. And you'll see here, I've made a whole bunch of different funny looking things. Okay, so there we go. That's the first step. We're on tomb.app. The next step is you gotta find what you want your content to be, so the document. So in this case, I've got a Macbeth summary and I just took this off SparkNotes. And all you gotta do is just get the text. You don't, you don't have to copy in any images or anything like that. Just select the text, wherever you use, Microsoft Word, Mac Notes, whatever, select it, and then go back into Tomb. Now we're gonna go over here, click on Create. When we click Create, we get a whole bunch of options, but the one we want is here at the bottom document to presentation beta. This is still in beta. It should be out of beta pretty soon because it's working pretty darn well. So let's go. I'm gonna click on that and then presto. Now it says paste the document. So all this content that we took here, I'm just gonna command V or control V and paste it in. And then I'm gonna click on that generate button. And now it's basically dialing up. <laughs> well, that's not the right way to put it, but it's cluing in with the GPT-4. So it's using GPT-4 logic and it's using that to create this new presentation. So here we go. It's created this as its first crack. If we don't like it, we can keep it or we can try again. But let's go ahead and keep it and see what we got. Okay, so clicking on number one, this is the first slide, Macbeth, full play summary. I like the black and white, but if you wanna change the colors, you just click on this little art, little easel here or whatever the heck that is, your little paintbrush thingy, and boom, you can change the different colors, you can change the fonts and all that stuff. But this looks pretty good to me and I don't wanna bore you with all the technical stuff, even though it's very easy to do. The next step, I'm gonna click on number two and I see, okay, we've got these four points that it's identified. Now, if I wanted to add in another one, I would just go over here and I could just add in text. So I could either just start typing, da, 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 da. I don't, of course that didn't look right. Or I can go over here and I can add in a heading. But in this one, just clicking on it, I think we should put an image here on the right side. That would look cool. So how easy it is it? I'm just gonna click on add tile or the plus button. And then I'm gonna click on image. And there you go, it's selected it. All I gotta do now is drag and drop in an image. So I'm gonna go to my Finder or my Explorer and I'm gonna go to Desktop. And then what do I have? Macbeth up here somewhere. And there it is, copy of Macbeth doing Macbeth things. And presto, there it is. Now I've added it. This one here, I added a second one by accident. So I'm just gonna click Delete on it. And there we go, we've got Macbeth looking good. Again, this has taken no technical skill whatsoever. Let's click on the third slide. This is the Witch's Prophecy. So for this one, maybe I wanna add in that video. That would be pretty cool because the video is of the witches doing witches things. So I'm gonna go over here again, click on the plus button. I'm sure you're getting to see a, a pattern here. And now I can either add in a video by clicking on this, and that means I can upload my own video if I've got it on my uh, computer or on one of my cloud drives, 
Or alternatively, I could just click on this web button here. It's a web link and watch this. I'm just going to go here to YouTube and here's the tragedy of Macbeth. It's a five minute clip about the three witches. I'm just going to click on that share button. I'm going to clip on that, click on that copy button part of me, go back in and then just paste that web link and hit enter. Now watch that. We've integrated in the video again, zero technical skill whatsoever. Just clicking. It's just a, yeah, copy and paste. That's all you need to know. So there we go. We've got a very cool looking third slide. Let's go to the fourth one. Macbeth's first crime. Okay, I like that. If I want to change some of the wording, I go, this was whatever. So I just could start typing, but I don't want to. Let's say I like it. I want to add in another image. So in that case, let's go ahead and add an image. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this plus button. I'm going to go to Dolly this time, because in this case, I want to show you how to use the Dolly 3 AI image generation AI art generator. So this has got in infinite Dolly credits, which is amazing, by the way, because you have to pay for them on open labs. So I'm going to click on Dolly and then here it says enter Dolly prompt. And so what do I want? In this case, it's, uh, let's just say, okay, M Lady Macbeth, whatever. Let's do it. Lady Macbeth and King Duncan sitting at a table. I don't know that I spelt that wrong. Okay, whatever. There we go. I mean, you could go nuts, whatever you want it to say. If you want it to be like, you know, and she's wearing a red crown and, and he's, on the floor, like you can be very descriptive. I'm just trying to do it very quickly, but do keep in mind that this is the full Dolly image generator and it is seriously good. So there we go. We've got four candidate images. If I zoom in a little bit, yeah, I kind of like this one at the, I like this one here at the bottom. Let's go with that one. I'm just going to click on it and I've added it in and that's it. It's pretty ugly actually. Her face don't look right, does it? No, it doesn't. But okay, so I would re-roll that. But in this case, it, you know what? Let's take her right out of the frame. Wow, we can't even, we got to keep, okay, well, whatever. Okay, so she's in it and she's not pretty, but whatever. Okay, fine. It's not a great image, but I wanted to show you the technique. We would vary that in the future. So there we go. We've added an image. And if I wanted this image at the top, I'm just dragging it and dropping it and putting it at the top. And what the hell happened to her face? And his face is no better. Oh boy. Anyway, so there we go. We've added in Dolly. This is that fancy little AI image generator. It's in. Let's go to the fifth slide. Okay, looking good. Growing anxiety. Maybe on this one, we want to add in, who knows? We want to add in uh, add in another image. This is all there is to it. I would just go ahead and I would grab a, I would grab this image here, the three witches, and presto. We would delete that, add it. Beauty. If I want to move it to the top, again, done. Looks good. This is literally all there is to it to creating amazing presentations. I think this is going to take out PowerPoint and I think Microsoft's going to have a, uh, a lot on their hands here because this is really good. Anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.